Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. We are happy that you're here with us today. We've got a very interesting show coming your way where we are talking all about financial literacy, a new financial app, as well as cold medicine. And I talked to Coyote Peterson. But up first, I talk with Phil Waldrop all about his new book called Beyond Betrayal. And he helps us walk through ways we can get beyond individuals who betray us and forgive. Here's more. In his new book, Beyond Betrayal, Overcome Past Hurts and Begin to Trust Again, author Phil Waldrop shares his harrowing experience with betrayal and guides readers on their healing journey to overcome feelings of resentment and discover a life of health, healing, and wholeness. Thanks, Phil, for talking with us today. Well, I'm delighted. You know, anytime I can talk to someone who's in what I believe is the most beautiful city in the world, I am delighted. So thanks for having me today. Well, thank you. I'm fascinated about your book. Tell me more about it. Well, you know, 20 years ago, I went through a very deep personal betrayal. And as a result, I, I did some things well, and I did some things that I was not as well. And as a result, I, I really look back now, 20 years later, and I realized there were some things that I, I can share with people to help them get through their betrayals. You know, for me, it was a friend, an employee, a colleague who betrayed me and who left me really picking up pieces. I mean, I was emotionally affected. I was financially affected. And there are people I'm sure today that are listening that they know exactly how I felt because they've been through a betrayal. And so I wanted to be able to write things that help people to process their emotions and to be able to do some things that help them to get beyond betrayal. Sounds like a devastating experience. Why do you think betrayal mm. is such a life altering experience? Because when you're betrayed, it shatters your trust. Someone has taken your trust and love and they have abused it. And because of that, you now have a question mark on every relationship. You think, well, if this person betrayed me, then maybe another person could betray me. And so your trust in people is, is starting to, to erode. And people who have earned your trust, you start taking it back. And trust is the very essence of a healthy relationship. So it becomes very personal because we don't want to trust anybody anymore because we don't want to hurt. And you can't live a life with that kind of isolation. What did you do in order to be able to trust again? Well, I discovered that forgiveness is something we can give, but trust has to be earned. And if the betrayer wants to restore the relationship, they have to be open to accountability. They have to be open to a person questioning everything. But many times the relationship cannot be restored. So I one day sat down, took out a piece of paper. And this is one of the exercises that I have in my book. It's very simple, but it works. And on the left side of the sheet of paper, I put the name of my betrayer along with some other people who had betrayed me. And on the right side of the paper, I put the names of every person who has never betrayed me. And I decided I was not going to allow the people on the left side who betrayed me to affect my relationships with those on the right side. Now that's a simple exercise, but it kept me, uh, allowed me to have perspective and kept me from destroying the healthy relationships that I had. You know, with betrayal comes anger. What are some healthy ways to express mm. that anger? Well, you know, you are going to become angry because you're going to go through a stage of denial and anger, which can be followed by bitterness and revenge. But when I went through anger, and everybody does who've been betrayed, you may not act on it physically, but you're angry. But one of the things that I did that was very helpful and uh, for me was I took out a piece of paper again and I wrote exactly what I felt. I wrote every thought. <laughs> I wrote what I wanted to do to the betrayer. But when I finished, I destroyed it. I shredded it. But what it helped me was I was venting my anger. I was expressing my emotion without harming other people or other relationships. Now, that sounds simple, but if you've been betrayed and you do that, you're going to be amazed how it keeps your perspective in the right way and helps you to maintain the good relationships that you have. These are really good ideas. I can think of a few people in my life who <laughs> I need to go through these exercises with so I can get past the betrayal right. and get to healing and forgiveness. What's your suggestions for right. that? Well, you know, you have to understand that forgiveness is when you decide that you are no longer going to seek revenge. 
But on the flip side of that, we sometimes think that forgiving someone means that we have to restore the relationship to the same level and to the same level of trust that it was before the betrayal. And that's not true. I can forgive someone and not seek revenge while at the same time that I don't have to trust them anymore. In fact, it may be the relationship can be restored, but it's okay if we never have a relationship again. You can move on with your life, but what frees you is the ability to forgive them to say, you know, I'm not gonna try to even the score. I'm gonna go on with my life and be happy. And when you can give forgiveness without uh, being, you know, enchained by believing that you have to totally restore the relationship. Now, that might be possible, but it might not be possible. But don't get, uh, don't get entrapped by feeling that, well, I've got to trust them totally like the same level I did before. You don't have to. Trust is earned. Forgiveness is given. And that forgiveness is actually more beneficial to you because likely your betrayer doesn't even know how you're feeling or doesn't care. That is true. Because one of the things I tell people, forgiveness is not the about the betrayer. Forgiveness is about me. Because until I forgive, my betrayer has a chain around me emotionally. And they, in some ways, are controlling my thoughts and my life and my relationships. I don't want them to have that kind of control. So when you choose to forgive them, and sometimes you have to do that on a daily basis where you say, you know, I'm, today I'm not going to seek revenge. If I get an opportunity to say a harmful word, I'm not going to do it. And when you get to the place where you can forgive someone like that, you're going to find that you're the one who is set free not the betrayer. Well, I'm very much looking forward to reading your book. It will be very helpful. Good. Where can we pick up a copy of it? Well, most major bookstores have it or they can order it for you, but there's a wonderful website called beyondbetrayalbook.com. That's beyondbetrayalbook.com, and it'll direct you to all the major book distributors, or you can get it on Amazon or any place you normally buy your books. And uh, I want people to get it because I really do believe it will help them to have happy, healthy relationships again. Well, again, the book is called Beyond Betrayal, Overcome Past Hurts and Begin to Trust Again by author Phil Waldrop. Uh, Phil, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thank you so much well, thank for you. sharing your experiences and writing this book. Well, thank you. I'm an honor to be with you.